Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. So this week I considered not posting a video. I know many people are just out on vacation having fun. They certainly have some better things to do than watch a pen video, but this is our secret little place on the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, journals, and journaling. And I wanted to make sure that you're still inspired so I thought I'd post an episode anyway. But today I'm gonna to switch things up a bit. I would like to get into some of what I work on with my handwriting, some of the things I obsess over, and maybe you can relate to some of it as well. So let's turn the camera around and get into the studio. Okay, so I'm going to use this Ayush paper, which is a really nice, it's got 100 grams per square meter, which is very thick. One of the things I really love about it is it has these shuttlecocks on the cover. And this paper is from India and shuttlecocks are still handmade there in some factory. So it's kind of a nice tie-in. We're going to use the Mont Blanc 149 as well, which is a fantastic pen for penmanship, I feel, because it's very comfortable in my hand. I don't have to do a tight grip. It's just a lovely pen to use, okay? So, handwriting struggles. Capital W. Capital W is kind of a nice letter to right I mean it's very dramatic and kind of a neat way to bring um, start off a line so one of the issues that I deal with is that I have some numbness in my right arm that goes down the length of my arm all the way to my hand so it makes writing a bit difficult for me and I also have to say that it's not easy doing this on camera and not because of being nervous or anything, but just because there's all these other um, tripods in the way and the light and the uh, wire for my microphone and all that. So it really makes this tough. But now it sounds like I'm making excuses for my handwriting, and maybe I am, but it's my pen show, isn't it? So I'm going to tell you some of what I'm already seeing here after I finish this sentence. It's not that easy to write something you know and speak at the same time, but I wanted to do this live. All right, so I like to have all my letters slanting the exact same way. You can already see I don't have much of a slant at all. And the slant that I do have is not particularly uniform, but it's not awful. It's not terrible. Okay, so now we have another issue and I'm going to speak about it. You see, I just put that dot down because um, I was a little undisciplined. All right. So another theory in my obsessiveness is that your capital should go up, I'd say, 75% of the way up the line and maybe plunge down no more than 25 so that when you're writing the next line they don't collide but you can see here I went almost half so I would have preferred this Y end about where this F ends and and that's one of the things I struggle with so 
So let's try it again. See, that's better. A fewer men. See, I'm having some issues with this. I thought of just writing it out and then commenting on it, but I thought that was a little bit more disingenuous. All right, so here's some other issues I want to point out. This S, it just, it just fell right off the cliff. All the lower letters should be anchored to that bottom line. So I would have preferred if it looked a bit more like this. That would have been a little nicer for me. Here, my E should be open. It should be more like that. I just sometimes, I'm just a little shaky. And I do, I do my best. I do like my capital W's though. I do okay with them. So, another issue is that your T's should be very straight across. And see, my T's are all over the place. This one loops up. This one loops down. This one's like a little dart. Um, this one's a little squiggle. So, it'd be perfect if they were all horizontal or uniformly embellished I've seen people do you know they cross their T's kind of like this and it looks really lovely I don't really have the aesthetic to pull that off as much as I try but it, it doesn't look horrible so one of the things you can certainly do to help yourself is make your T's crossed uniformly and dot your eyes with an actual dot that is a big thing. Um, the next next word has an I, which is great. So right here, all right? See how this is just, well, that's just a dot that's there by mistake, but okay, see this? It's like a dash. It just looks a mess. But if you just simply put a dot, at least you're, at least you're a bit more organized. Here's another one. So here we can put a dot, and we could do a fun little swirl there on the T. See, that doesn't work for me. I like nice crossed uniform T's. So sometimes I think of doing whole words without lifting my pen. Like see, my T connected with my H there. And I like that philosophically, but it's not always possible. See, like I had to lift it up for that capital H right there. But you can try, right? Here I have another opportunity to cross a T. That's not bad. Whoops, that should be a H right there. Look, sometimes you can fix it. No one's none the wiser sometimes when I cross a T I make it dramatic and I'll do it across the entire word so I'll show you that oops you know what I'm running off the line so I'm gonna just adjust the camera so indulge me won't you so we got no now this, right? See, that's a nice S because I went back the way I really like to do it. And now this is the T I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll take it all the way to there. So no one pull out your Agincourt speeches and correct me on this because I am of two minds right now. All right, so here, once again, nice dot. By the way, this pen is a joy.
to write with. And I just mean that, look, I'm going to try to write as lightly as possible. Do you see that? You see the line change when you just like barely, you barely put any pressure at all. And once, this bad push shall be made. Once you do that and you get very good at it, you can do nice line variation just by these minute pressure changes. And that's what, look at this. It's almost like a fine point suddenly. Oh, you can't see it. I'm going to have to adjust this. Bear with me. I don't normally do this, so. See that? It's almost like a fine point. So once I am working with this pen, I actually haven't written with it in a few weeks, but when you get reacclimated, you can do some nice variation. See that? Okay. We're gonna stop now. But I want to keep going. We would not die in that man's company who fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He who outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe at the name of this day and rouse it at the name of Crispian. Anyway, all right. So some of these words, I would really like more of a slant here. That's what I wish. And if nothing else, like this is perfectly serviceable handwriting it's legible it's very much mid-century palmer method i learned this in the 1970s the nuns would be upset if they saw the way i write they wanted much more uniformity but this is perfectly serviceable it does the job you can read it you can understand it and it's okay but it doesn't really have a lot of inherent beauty and that's what i'd like to change i'd like to get a little bit more of myself in here but um i am constantly wrestling against my own obsessions about letter heights like i said say an f should go three quarters way up 25 percent down the i should go about halfway up just below it and then this would follow all of that see so in a perfect letter and a perfect word for me, these would all be the same height. These would be the same height and that would all be the same height. And that my friends is how I obsess over my handwriting. So what did you think? Do you share some of my insecurities and limitations in handwriting? How has your handwriting journey been? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll see you again next week. So until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you further up the road.